Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 16 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. Before we get going, I would strongly appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button below, that way you can support the channel while also receiving notifications for all upcoming videos so you don't miss any when you're up to date. Now without further ado, let's tackle question 16. We're asked which representation shows that two fifths of the squares are shaded. So there's four options here and it's a grid. And in this case, it's a three rows by one, two, three, four, five columns. So it's a three by five grid. And then that means there is 15 squares, right? There's, you could count them by hand. It would be one, two, three, four, five and then three rows of that. Or there's five columns of three squares, same thing. And here, I would, again, I, I encourage you to try this question by yourself, but we're about to solve it here. What we can do is just count the number of squares that are shaded, which for A, it is two over 15. And for B, it is four over 15. For C, it is five over 15 and for D it is 6 over 15. Now it asked which representation shows that two fifths are shaded so we can convert these fractions into uh, fifths, right? So I need to divide by 3 in the numerator, in the denominator to give me 5. So in this case that would be all right, and I forgot my three. So then I get a three, um, 15 divided by three, I get a five. And then if I divide by three on top, I would get two over three, divided, like two over two thirds of one fifth, essentially. So this one is not as obvious, but don't worry, you'll see more. And then again, we do this sim a similar thing. We divide by three, divide by three. And these are equivalent fractions and I could you could uh, do it in a calculator to make sure. But here you get four thirds of five. So it's 1.33 fifths. And for A it was 0 0.66 fifths. And here when you divide by three, you get um, five over three over five. So that's close to two, it's 1.66 fifths. And then here when you divide by three, you get two fifths. So it's obviously that one, that's two fifths. Uh, there's many ways you could actually do this, this uh, problem, because that's two fifths. But, um, so let's go to one where I, we build intuition. And uh, instead of looking at the total number of squares, you could separate the, that grid into five equal pieces. And in this case, it's easy because there's five columns. Therefore, each column is one fifth of the thing, right? So when you add the five fifths, you get the whole grid. So to get two fifths, you need the first two columns. And if we look, well, in part D, you get a full column plus a half column plus one. So that's the full two columns, whereas the other ones, it would just be a full column and then two extra. Here it's a full column and then one extra. And then here it's not even a full column. So it makes sense as well. You could also do it into percentage. You could do two fifths is equal to 0 0.4 or 40%. And then you could just divide two over 15 Let's say we do it here, two divided by 15. You can see that it's only 13%, that's not 40%. But if you do six over 15, that should be 0 0.4 or 40%, right? So that's another way you can do it and that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Do The Work. 